All right, so still on the Netflix Niger conversation, because of some of our submissions from the previous episode of Tea Time and where we had um, Miriam Giwa and Bamidili Olaleko and also a call in from veteran Nollywood producer Kunle Afalayan, it became necessary to get more perspective on the Netflix Nollywood partnership. To do this, we've got Ramsey Noah joining us um, live. Hello, Mr. Noah. From the ongoing conversation, concerns have been raised regarding the high possibility of our African stories being westernized. What are your thoughts on this? No, absolutely not. I don't think African stories is westernized. Because um, if, if that's the case, whoever is saying that is probably doesn't know anything about Netflix. Netflix already po uh, posted um, some of our films, our local content, the way it is and the way we filmed it on their platform long before they even tried to Netflix Niger. So there is no reason why they wouldn't want to create content for our consumption. Will this pose a threat to the already existing platforms? And what would you say is the significant difference? That is um, it's, it's an alternative market for, uh, for content. It's an alternative market for our film. And I think, yeah, with, with the way it's going, there's a new frontier of marketing now for uh, film, filmmaking. And However way it comes, however many can be, the better for us, we the independent filmmakers. Okay. I like that you use we the independent producers. So there have been amazing review on the sequel of Living in Bondage. And it's probably safe to say the audience are yearning for more. Do we expect something um, more of this in, or more returns and more sequels from you? Yes, as it may. Yeah. My, uh, myself and my partner, the guy that... Um, um, Initiated and the sponsor, the executive producer of uh, Living in Bondage 2. Um, yes, we already have rights to a few on our hands right now. We have a right to doing Rattlesnake, we have the right to doing Neka, and we have the right to Glamour Girls as we speak. So uh, it's it's probably going to be a year of uh, the revamping of the of the um, old stories. Okay, great. I think I'm even more excited about, about the return the than the yeah. Netflix thing. I'm excited about the Neka the Pretty Serpent. I, I believe that's what he called Neka, right? Snake. Yeah, so I can't, I can't wait. Like, I totally forgot about Rattlesnake till he said it now. That to be honest, joke. until he said it, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah? I was like, oh, sorry, one second. I just want to check what that is. <laughs> okay, so in Neka the Pretty Serpent, Rattlesnake, um, those are great Nollywood movies that... Yeah. Um, we were talking about Netflix having such movies that people have forgotten on their platform. Yeah. Do you understand? So um, getting a remake of this type of movies would just be a good reminder. It would be awesome. And yeah, I think one thing that I know for sure that I Netflix still haven't would... seen Living in Bondage, though. Mm, right. Have you seen it? Me. I have. <laughs> Isn't me? Have I seen anything? Thank you.